What's up everybody, I'm back with another video, and if you're new here, my name is John, I am washed up TikTok star who only used to be kind of famous because of his twin brother, but now I make videos about healthy lifestyle tips to improve self-confidence and level up, so if that kind of stuff interests you, definitely like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Alright, so today we're going to go over some more bare minimum tips for young men for my TikTok, and the parts we are going to go over today are parts 9 and 10. And so without further ado... Let's get into it. So the first tip of this video is to hydrate with a glass of water every single morning. So as we all know, about 60-70% of the human body is made up of water. It's recommended to drink about 8 glasses of 8 ounces of water every day. But if you're someone who likes to work out every day like me, you gotta drink a little bit more than that because you're constantly losing water when you sweat. So of course we all drink water throughout the day, or at least I hope you do. So we are constantly replenishing our body throughout that time. However, when you go to bed for 8 hours, this is obviously not the case. So it's important to drink one glass of water first thing in the morning right when you get up because your body is going to be somewhat deprived from that eight hours. So whenever you get up in the morning, that is why your face looks very puffy because your body is dehydrated. So throughout the day when you're consuming water, your face just kind of naturally goes back to its natural form. And that's the benefit of keeping your body hydrated is that it keeps your skin very smooth and elastic and not puffy. So there's a ton of health benefits to keeping your body hydrated. But for me personally, I do it for the skin benefits. I don't want my face to look puffy and swollen throughout the entire day so that's why i always make sure to drink a glass of water first thing every single morning tip number two for this video is to use a separate towel for your body and your face when drying off after washing so for me i always use just a standard towel to dry off my body after the shower then after drying off my body i then wash my face after over the sink and instead of grabbing that same towel i just dried my body with I use a separate smaller towel to just dry my face. So if you're someone struggling with acne, that can be a really big help for you because when you use that same towel to dry off your body with onto your face, you are risking putting potential bacteria and other impurities into the pores of your skin that you just cleaned off. It's recommended that you wash your towels with hot water and a good detergent so that you're able to wash off all the bacteria, but you can't always rely on that and it's important to always use a separate face towel to dry off your face that you know is clean. Because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I use my body towel, I also use it to wipe the sink and sometimes the water that falls on the floor and just other dirty surface areas around the house and that could definitely build up over time on the towel regardless if you're washing it there still might be a little bit of bacteria lingering so it's always definitely a risk of acne breakouts whenever you use that same body towel like I do and then using it to dry off your face but as for a separate little face towel that I specifically use only for my face and not cleaning off any other surfaces around the house or in the bathroom therefore it's not going to collect as much bacteria it's most likely definitely going to be a hundred percent clean after every single wash so yeah if you're someone struggling with acne right now just go ahead and implement this tip if you're not doing it already and this might be the only thing you need to do to prevent the breakouts assuming that you are taking the other necessary precautions when it comes to skincare so yeah go ahead and try that out but also remember to always use a very good detergent as well next tip of this video tip number three is to either sell or donate your old clothes i'm sure everyone has a bunch of clothes in their closet right now that they don't even wear or probably doesn't even fit them anymore but they still have it for i don't know nostalgia but that's just taking up a bunch of room in your closet and it's kind of hoarding to a degree so whenever you have some spare time on your hands just take the time to go in your closet clean it out organize it just gather up all the clothes that you don't need or wear anymore and you could donate it or make some cash off of it you can sell it online like on offer up or facebook marketplace or there are even some stores like around my area there's a place called Plato's closet it's basically a thrift store but instead of getting clothes donated to them they will actually buy the used clothes that you don't want off of you you won't make much money from it I mean sometimes you could bring them like two big bags of clothing and they only give you like 20 bucks but it's clothes that you're gonna throw out anyways so it might as well get something rather than nothing on to tip number four is to shave with the grain so when it comes to shaving your facial hair you always need to shave with the grain which basically means shaving in the direction that your hair is growing in so then you're gonna want to use the razor blade and shave downwards you don't want to go up or sideways because that's gonna irritate your skin now sometimes to get in between the crevices and the hard to reach areas I kind of tilt it to the side a little bit so I kind of go horizontal but just for a few strokes but you never want to go completely against the grain by going up yes you do get a deeper shave but you risk irritating your skin causing razor bumps ingrown hairs and also just completely scratching up your face and that is the absolute last thing you want to do because of course when you cut your face there's going to be a wound that's going to scar and it's going to be there forever so yeah always be sure to shave with the grain if you want to keep your skin smooth and healthy just rid of any irritation and ingrown hairs and scars of course that's the main one i mean unless you're trying to get the anakin skywalker scar then by all means go for it and also always remember to use shaving cream i feel like that's a given but i also just feel like i have to mention that 
that because I remember my first time shaving, I didn't and that made my skin very red. So yeah, don't forget shaving cream as well. Next tip of this list, tip number five, is to learn how to cook. So when you grow older, eventually you're gonna move out of your parents' house and your mom's not gonna be there to cook you French toast every single morning anymore. So yeah, you gotta you gotta learn how to cook. This is kind of a given, but you'd be surprised how many people out there who are older and moved out already, but still order nothing but fast food and eat frozen foods every day because they've never learned how to cook. And learning how to cook is very crucial for your health because in case you don't know, a lot of processed frozen food that you consume are filled with a bunch of crap that you shouldn't put in your body. It's also filled with an overwhelming amount of sodium that's bad for your health, bad for your heart, and can cause chronic illnesses. And so it's always good to cook your foods naturally at home for yourself that are fresh produce and raw that haven't been tampered with as much. Because again, a lot of the frozen foods that are at the stores, especially in this modern day, are filled with preservatives that they claim you put in there to help extend the life of the food, but it will deteriorate your life. I always buy as much fresh food as you can, take it home with you to cook it yourself, and stop relying on fast foods and frozen foods at the store if you care about your health. And yes, the healthier options might be a little bit more expensive, but you gotta think about it like this. Would you rather spend a little bit more on healthy food now, or spend thousands of dollars on medical bills later down the line from chronic illnesses that you developed from the crap food that you ate? Alright, last tip on this Baron Number Tips video is to wear a watch. So wearing just a simple watch can totally boost up your appearance when you're going out. It can enhance your outfit and also just make you look very mature and intelligent. So the types of watches that you should wear are like the Apple Watch or what I personally like is the fancy formal watches, the analog ones with the Roman numerals instead of the numbers. Those just make you look super professional and they don't even have to be expensive watches either. I bought mine on Amazon for like 40 or $50 I think. So I actually have it right here and as you can see it looks very fancy, very exquisite but it was honestly super cheap. There's a lot more inexpensive options on Amazon that you can look for. I don't think this tip is just for like the high successful men with a lot of money. You don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars on a watch. Just find one off Amazon like I did or even go on OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace, look around your area and see who is selling a high quality watch for maybe like half the price or even less. Just make sure it's not some old waterproof G-Shock that you've had since like the eighth grade. And if you're a young man or an adult, I definitely recommend not wearing those. It just kind of looks childish and you should really upgrade to an Apple Watch or some other high-end digital type watch like that. Alright, so those were six more bare minimum tips for young men, parts 9 and 10. And also in case you don't know, I started a new channel recently called Jeepers John Reacts. I just talk about the modern western societal decay and the whole dating catastrophe. And some of the clips I react to can get kind of crazy and just totally ridiculous so you're going to want to watch so if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe because it does help support my channel so that i can keep creating videos for you guys that was all i had for this video i hope you learned something of value today i hope you learned something from my mistakes to better yourself and until then i'll see you in the next one